Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you be. Welcome to Orgasmic Conscious Cooking with yours truly, being John Ashford. Please go over to my website and show some love. Like this YouTube video. Come back every Tuesday. If you want to be a guest, send me an email off of my website. I'd love to have you on. If you have any ideas for any meals or any dishes that you want me to try, you want to cook together, I'm open to that. If you have any hookups with uh, the Food Network, especially the kitchen, I would love to go on there. So let's see what happens. This evening, we're going to get straight down to it. Uh, I always ended the night with a ingredient or a spice of consciousness. Today, we're going to do we're going to take some right out of the bars book. OK, it's what else is possible. It's a statement that they use, a clearing, a tool that's used in access consciousness. Uh, I, I participate in access consciousness. I ride that bike, that boat, that truck, whatever you want to call it. But the tool uh, is never to get stuck, never to get anything stuck in your throat. You can ask what else is possible. Ask anytime when you're feeling crunchy. Hence, what else is possible? Does anybody know what this is? Artichoke. Sometimes artichokes can get bitter. They have thorns. They're, it's a thistle. I'm going to give you some more history on this. But what if this artichoke was the same as asking the question, what else is possible? What would you do? I'm going to show you how you can make this edible. Right now, this is not the most edible object in my hand. You have to ma manipulate it to change it so it can be something that you can be digested. OK, so I'm going to give you some history real quick first. And I have two sauces I'm going to cook tonight. Now, I prepare and not cook, but I'm going to prepare two sauces and I'm going to show you how to uh, put them on the grill, one on the grill and then one just in the dipping sauce. OK, I'm going to show you how to prepare it, how you steam it, the pot that I use and everything. OK, but first, let me find if I get this history for you. So the globe artichoke is also known in French as artichoke. Uh, historically, it was thought to be from North Africa or the Mediterranean part of, uh, of Europe. Uh, the first Roman guy who really made it famous was Pliny. He said the chokes one of Earth's monstrosities, but he continued to eat it because they are delicious. OK. It has a lot of nutritional value, tons of nutritional value. Uh, when you eat artichokes, my wife said, yeah, artichokes are fun to eat. Yeah, because you have to take them apart. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I cut it. OK. When you have an artichoke, you, it's not the greatest vegetable to eat raw. Because there are thorns on the top part of it. OK. And the stalk, it grows on a plant, could be anywhere from six to eight feet. And these are the little flowers that are growing on the plant. They cut them off. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to prepare this for the steamer. So what I did is I prepared mine. I put it in an Instapot for 20 minutes, lemon juice, garlic, a cup of water, some salt. I have this little, I'm going to show you this tray that I have that I put them on, sit it in there 20 minutes and take them off immediately. Why immediately? If you let it stay in the steam, it will discolor and it'll start to wilt. That might have happened a little bit today. You might see that today because I was trying to keep them warm for today's show. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, stem and it's delicious. OK, but if it gets too long, it becomes grainy. And you, have you ever had like celery and it was like the strings in it? You don't want that to happen. That's not fun. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut halfway off. So I cut this piece off here. So now it's halfway and you can see the greenery in that. Oh, my God, I just love it. It's, it's truly a flower. And like Tori says, a flower that actually turns purple. So if you leave this outside, this is going to this bulb is going to open up and this beautiful violet purple flower is going to come out. But not this one. It's not going to make it to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top. Cut off the top thorns. See that? 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit in the pot. I'm going to show you. Be right back. I'm going to bring the ones that I'm going to prepare. I'm clean up my mess. Anybody have any questions out there? People probably like, artichokes? Why artichokes? I love artichokes. So this is my little handy dandy tray. I'm going to take these off of here. Try not to drop it on the floor. Place this one back in the tray. And that's going to go in the pot, and I'll cook that later. But right now, we'll set that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to cut this in half. It actually fell apart. OK, so this is something that you'll learn from it. It's very soft now. OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this one and place it on this plate. And this is going to show you the first sauce for this. OK, you guys can't see that underneath there. So here we go. So I'm going to move this one over to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some olive oil. Okay. I want to bathe it in the olive oil. Okay. So I want that to get all mixed up. So what I have is this anacortis reduced vinegar. So let me show you the process. You take regular red vinegar and you cook it down. You remove most of the liquid, the water, and the sugar in the vinegar comes out. Then they add strawberry or raspberries to add additional flavor. So what I'm going to do, I'll get this off. I'll pour a little bit. You don't want much because it's going to make a little bit of a mess when it gets on the grill. Okay. Then I'm going to take some salt. Everybody knows my story from my salt shaker, right? Thinking about Rita Benjamin. I'll sit this like this. Some black pepper. Next, what we're going to do, we open up the grill. And pull this out and place this on here. Only for a couple of minutes. Bathe it, baby. Yes, there. Yes. So we close it. I'm going to put this on for two minutes. It's already cooked. I just want the sugars to caramelize. So you steam and then go, yes, Tori. So first you steam them for 20 minutes in the Instapot. And then you put them on the grill for just two minutes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more reduced vinegar, some more olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Bam. It's almost a salad dessert. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have the COVID. I drink her. No, I don't drink beers, but I drink basil. Watch this way out of the COVID. It's the black pepper, y'all. So anyway, while this is cooking, I'm going to sit this over here. What we're going to do, what I've done is I've chopped up three cloves of garlic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Put that in there. Now, this is where I get kind of creative. Not kind. I get creative. You know, you have a party. And you have friends over. They don't drink all the wine. Some people pour the wine out. Not I. I keep my wines in the fridge. And I use them for salad dressing sometimes. Spaghetti sauce. Or salad dressings. So watch this. Watch this magic. So I'm going to take a fourth cup of what is this pinot gris chateau de michel fourth cup of that drop that off in there i'm gonna stir this up i hope you guys see i don't have an above camera i know gino i hear you so there it is so that's that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take about a teaspoon of salt put that in there teaspoon of pepper I like a lot of pepper, but my wife's like, be careful with that. She can't do the heat. Stir that up. Ah, oh, they're ready. Cut this off. So 
So what we're going to do is go half a cup of olive oil. I prefer olive oil that is extra virgin. That sounds weird. But I like cold press. And you can see it's kind of cloudy. A lot more flavor. Lots more. Allison, what's up, sister? How you doing? So here we go. I can't wait to be able to have a bunch of people like you know, a birthday party and cook something for people and access. Some people haven't tasted my cooking. I think I can actually cook. So I'm going to put two of these with the four. So we have a half a cup. Right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir it. And this is what that looks like. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I hope you can see it. So what happens, it likes to separate. So you keep on stirring it. So you have the mustard, the white wine, the olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, lots of garlic. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip the leaves in it after the steam. That's one of the sauces. Now, let's go back to the ones on the grill. Let's this up. Ah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. So, I'm going to see if you guys can see the caramelization in that. You see that? That. Oh, my God. So, now what we're going to do, have enough oil on there. What we're going to do is add a little more sweetness to it. A little bit more of the vinegar. Just a dash more of salt. And some black pepper. So I wish you got I wish I had smell of vision or taste of vision, but you just got me in vision. So you guys have to act as if you were in my mouth. Is that sexy or not? I don't know what that's like. But anyway, let me tell you what this tastes like. Mm. So you chew it, you can't swallow the whole leaf. Thank God for garbage cans. The bottom part of the plant is the most edible, down near the stem and the base. It's a flower inside. There's some thorns. You, you cut it up. What happened in the baby artichokes, I usually cut that out in the beginning. I forgot to show you guys that. When you steam it, I don't want to cut it while it's steaming because it actually will fall apart more. And I want the flavor to stay intense and stay inside. But this is what it looks like grilled. You could actually put one of these leaves off and actually try out the sauce. I'll try that for you. I'll dip that in there. Now, come back. Mm. Artichokes, one of my favorite vegetables. Now, I've been told that sometimes when people eat asparagus and artichokes, it shows up. What's up, David? My boy, what's up? But it smell it smell like heaven, man. And it tastes like heaven. So sometimes when you eat it, you might go the next day, you'd be like, Am I sick? Is something wrong with me? No, it's not. There's a chemical in artichokes, and I can't remember the I can't remember the name of it. And asparagus, it actually comes out in your urine. And it's actually beneficial to the kidneys and the liver and cleaning them out. Hold on, let me get rid of this. And it tastes good. You get your vegetables. So next time you're in the store, try something different. You know, what I said is that a lot of times when I talk about consciousness, I'm like, what else is possible? You actually could live life like that. Like when you first look at artichoke, artichoke, I said artichoke. <laughs> When you first see an artichoke, it's not that appealing. But when you learn a little bit about it, you ask questions about what else is possible. You can make salads out of it, dips. You can marinate them. You can grill them. I wouldn't suggest eating them raw because it is a thistle. It's in the thistle family. So next time you're in the store, like I said, try something different. You know, I think we live life so robotically that we don't step out of that space that space of asking that freaking question about what else is possible you know i was talking to a friend earlier today and we're talking about 
the condition of people going through. And it was just like choice. Yes, Kathy. Okie dokie artichoke. Yes. Maybe I'll cook artichokes when I come down there this summer for your birthday. I believe that's your birthday, right? Um, but yeah, what would it take for you to stay in the question of what else is possible? What would it take? I love them. Yes. It's one of my favorite. Uh, the first time I had something, the, the, the grilled ones, I was at a Mediterranean restaurant and I lost my mind. I was like, I have just this, you know, and they come in different sizes. This is a medium size. They have the larger ones. A lot of times I'm very hesitant to eat things that are much bigger because sometimes the bigger is not always the best flavor. We steam those mofos. Yes, I steam them first and then I grill them. They're really good on my Traeger because the wood smoke, the marinade is, oh my God, and garlic, oh my God. Until next time, people, I told you it's going to be real short. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be kind to yourself. Be the interrupt of this reality. We can, get, we can do this, people. We can change this planet. Be the interrupt of this reality. If you want one of these t-shirts, you want to order them, hit me up online. They're $28. $5 go to Sovalti, a men's program that deal with African-American fathers taking care of their, uh, their children. Uh, yay, losing your mind. How's it get better? Yes. Lose your mind. Love you too, Dave, man. Uh, I got to have you on here, Dave. You're in town. You come over. Be on the show. Man, Dave's a deep dude. They would probably like to hear what you got to say. Until next time, people. Love you. Blessings. Peace. Do something good for yourself. Be cool. Be cool to each other. We got this. You know, I, I'm going to get off here and I keep on saying this, but think about it. We're on one planet and we can't get along. What is that? No judgment. I'm just asking the question. What is that? And what did I say? Well, this is possible, y'all. Until next time, peace and blessings. Deuces.